Howdy folks, my name is Darren from RC Skill Models and today I'm back with you and we, today we're going to take a look at a book. Um, this book is from Phoenix Scale Publications. It's on the F35, so it's all variants from the A, B, C and there is an I version, which is the Israeli version, but it's based on the A. They change theirs up slightly. They do talk about all the uh, differences between each aircraft. There is some stuff in the back to do with models and what kits have been available um, as of date of this book being made the Tamir kit got released later so Tamir kits not in the book but it will give you good reference material of how to weather paint it's just going to be a great book on the F-35 when it comes to building the Tamir kit or any other kit um, so this is what you agree with this is exactly the same it's the uh, blue series there are several other books released um, The other series of books they do is the Wild Weasel, F4 Phantom, F16 Falcon, US version, F16 Falcon, NATO and other variants for other countries, uh, Lightning, which you see here, and the uh, um, Griffin aircraft, which is the uh, Sabre Griffin. Um, sorry, Saab Griffin. Um, so what we get inside this one is pretty standard. You've got some advertisement which is going to be uh, as normal. So straight off the bat they're talking about different um, parts. Um, basic history, great reference pictures. This is a very cool shot. You could always make your kit like this as well in uh, the process of it being made so it, it's in that have glass color on certain parts but certain parts of the aircraft is this iconic blue which is probably like the primer color underneath the aircraft that would be pretty cool to make early aircraft for testing um, they all talk about the early aircraft in how the aircraft is in development so it's great reference material for reading and images Image of the underside of the bomb bay and weapons bay. This is the uh, US version in service. We have one here which is pretty cool to do as well. Instead of doing it in the uh, half glass grey colour, you could do it in this aircraft which has some kind of pattern on it, um, like camouflage version. These are going to be all the US version. Great shots. Is the B version, which should be carrier based? Uh, is it the VTOL version? This one here, you can see all the RAM tape is quite visible, and some of the other versions that are, are low vis, the RAM tape's not so pronounced, it's pretty much the same colour as the aircraft. So you can take your pick. Very cool tail markings instead of just being the ball in grey. Great, great shots. Now we go to UK variants. UK variant is only the what variant do we have? The B, which is VTOL version, so it's carrier based again. Great shots. I believe uh, Intellary or Atalary do the B variant. Now we have Israeli version, which they call F-35I, and so basically it talks about the electronics and countermeasures and stuff is slightly different to their counterparts from the Americans and US and other countries, their electronics are slightly different. Great shot there of the uh, Israeli version. Then it goes into Australia versions, what countries use the other aircraft, so Australia you have the A and B variant. Denmark has the A variant. 
uh, Italy have the A and B variant. Uh, Netherlands or Nor uh, have the A variant, which is here. This is Netherlands. Norway, what variant do they have? They have they fly the A. Turkey, they have the A variant, and then Belgium, Japan, Poland, Korea, Finland, Greece, Spain, they all, all fly the A variant. So we have profiles of the aircraft, so Israeli, Americans, Australia, and this tells you which ones are which. Again, it, all aircraft are going to be that grey colour, which is very boring, but that's the way it is. Now we have great reference walk-arounds and close-ups of the aircraft. So this would be ideal for, especially when it comes to paint you and weathering your model. You would think the aircraft wouldn't be that badly weathered, considering it's a new aircraft, but you'd be totally wrong on that. Great shots of the landing gear. So it's going to be that internal um, white colour, which is the um, insignia white, and obviously parts of the landing gear are a dark grey and you can see there's oil stains on the landing gear this is a great shot especially on the on surfaces of the aircraft you think it'd be nice and clean but it's not you can see how worn and dirty the aircraft is even for a new aircraft it is quite dirty and it talks about what some of these segments are great shot there of part of the cockpit this is I believe is the uh, one of the UK versions or the Americans. I'm not sure. Could be American version because um, our flight deck crew members are not like that. So I think that's a uh, US version actually. That's it's the B. We don't have the B. Great tail markings and uh, fog covers. Great shot of the bomb bay and weapons bay. Sorry, even so. When it comes to do the Tamiya kit, which is highly detailed on that, it's going to require a lot of detailed painting. Blacks, there's yellows in there, there's reds, there's copper, there's greys, there's whites. You name it, it's all there. So, great reference material. Now we have the the uh, B variant, which is the uh, aircraft carrier base version. Great tail markings. I wish they would release some of these decals. Now we have the A variant, and it all talks about all the differences between each aircraft great shots photo gallery so great images and now here we talk about people that built kits and how they've gone about it and what kit they've used so this one was the 48 scale kitty hawk kit f85c Fully loaded weapon, so that's the beast mode. Someone's built the 72nd Atari version, F-35A. So that's the VTOL version. No, sorry, not the VTOL version, that's the normal version. So nicely done. Here's what one I was talking about earlier, having it in the uh, primer blue colour, rollout as they call it. 172nd scale, 135B, a Tallery. So the B is the same as the Tamir. Nope, sorry, Tamir do A. It doesn't matter. You could still do it in the blue. It'd be pretty cool, I think, to do your kit like that. It'd be something completely different. How they've gone about it. It's nicely done. I do like that, actually. Um, 148 scale Tallery, F35B. So... Nicely done again. This is UK version. Nicely done. F85B, 72nd scale. Tallery. UK version. And then there's the other books that they've got available. Um, so yeah, cool. Pretty cool. That's all they have in their series at the moment. So if you're interested of getting the rest of those books, which I'll probably will do at a later date, but at the moment I've just bought the F85. So great for reference material. There's the barcode. 
is about £20 retail, pretty much from everywhere. QR code will take you to the web page and whatever. So if you're interested in getting a good reference material book or you like collecting books, which I do, this is a great one for your stash and collection. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you next time. Thank you.